Let's look at another cause of miscarriage through a study which explored why some human pregnancies have three sets of chromosomes instead of a normal two. This condition is known as triploidy, which often causes early pregnancy loss or miscarriage. Normally, eggs and sperm carry one set of chromosomes, so when they combine during fertilization, the embryo has two sets. But in triploidy, the embryo ends up with a full extra set, totaling three sets of chromosomes, which prevents normal development. Researchers looked at DNA from 1,400 miscarriages and their parents to understand how triploidy occurs. They found that triploidy is responsible for about 6.4% of early pregnancy losses, which matches earlier studies. Most importantly, they discovered that triploidy mainly happens due to problems in a mother's eggs during a crucial process called meiosis, when chromosomes are supposed to exchange pieces called recombination and then split properly. When this recombination fails, eggs end up with an extra set of chromosomes, and there's a full extra set of chromosomes. This study highlighted that as women's age increases, her eggs are more likely to experience wide fed failures in this recombination process, leading to a higher risk of triploid pregnancies. Specifically, those of chromosomes 21 and 22 were often involved in these failures. The researchers also found that older mothers' eggs carried more new mutations, which further affects embryo development. So let's look at simple terms. Think of chromosome as a deck of cards with need to be neatly split and shuffled before being passed on. If the shuffle fails or the split goes wrong, the embryo ends up with an extra set of cards, which are the chromosomes, which disrupts the ability to grow properly. Why is the research important? Because it helps scientists and doctors to understand why many miscarriages occur and why the risk increases with maternal age. This shows that more than half of early pregnancy losses have genetic causes. Knowing these causes may help in fertility treatments and help us to offer better advice. Can this be found in general screening of embryos? And the answer is yes.